Can you name a god whose only inherent role was to fart to make people laugh? Or a creature that was so breathtaking that people died if it breathed near them? How about one who used to kill people by making them laugh? I bet you can't. But you will after watching this video, because today we have compiled the craziest list of mythical creatures for you. But before we begin, we would like to thank Ada and Colvin for subscribing to our membership. If you also want to become part of our members-only community and enjoy special content, make sure to click on the subscription button. Now, let's jump right into the video. Number 20. Yeti The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, is a strange bipedal monster claimed to inhabit Asia's highlands. It sometimes leaves snow traces, although it is also reported to live beyond the Himalayan snow line. Despite many of the expeditions into isolated alpine regions of Russia, China, and Nepal, the Yeti's existence has yet to be confirmed. The Yeti is described as muscular, having a dark gray or reddish-brown hair, and weighing between 200 and 400 pounds. Number 19. Narsima Among the nine avatars of Lord Vishnu, there have emerged thus far the fourth one, Narasimha, is the most powerful Vishnu the universe's preserver and sustainer turned into a ferocious form to destroy Asura ruler Hiranyakashipu, who had caused havoc in the Three Realms. Hiranyakashipu incurred Lord Vishnu's anger by murdering all who refused to acknowledge him as Bhagwan, or God. The Demon King desired to be the unchallenged god of the universe and slaughtered anyone who refused to worship him cruelly. Number 18. Balfagor Belphegor is a hell lieutenant, referenced several times in the Bible, who was sent to Earth on a mission by Satan. He is a form changer that delights in deceiving mortals and luring the lazy into the sin of sloth. For example, he would disguise himself as a lovely lady, naked in all her beauty, to lure those who fall for his tricks. Number 17. Asag Asag is a Sumerian mythological black wicked demon spirit from the underworld who is thought to create disease and sickness. Asag is described as a huge spherical three-legged three-armed beast with no neck and a few eyeballs covering the full mass. He has a dull, hardened skin that is nearly indestructible in the Sumerian mythical poetry Lugail. In terms of conjugation, Asag is believed to be one of the top ten demons to avoid at all costs. Number 16. Dragon Dragons are among the most well-known and enduring legendary creatures, believed to exist for millennia. It's a mythical creature that looks like a colossal reptile. In European mythology, the dragon is frequently fire-breathing and represents chaos or evil. But in East Asian culture, it is typically a benign emblem of fertility related to water and the skies. Related to water and the skies. Number 15. Lamasthu Lamasthu was a Mesopotamian pantheon's evil and malicious demon goddess and the daughter of the deity An who symbolized more than usual demonic power. Her primary victims are said to be unborn children and newborns. Pregnant women were, therefore, also her targets, with Lamasthu typically blamed for miscarriage and caught death among newborns. Number 14. Banshees In Irish tradition, a banshee is a fairy. Her cry is said to be a portent of death. The scream is also known as keoing, which means keening, and is warning that a death in the family is imminent. As Irish families merge through time, it is thought that each family had its own banshee. Number 13. Harpy In Greek mythology, a harpy is a half-bird, half-woman creature. They are known as the Hounds of Zeus, and they were the embodiment of storm winds. Zeus would send them forth during storms to accomplish his bidding. If a person or object went missing, it would be blamed on the harpies. Number 12. Cyclops The Cyclops were giant one-eyed creatures with tremendous power. Originally, there were three of them, Argus, Sterapes, and Brontes, were accomplished blacksmiths and the son of Uranus and Gaia, as well as the brothers of the Hecatoncheries and the Titans. They were imprisoned by Cronus but liberated by his son Zeus, in gratitude for whom they created his famed thunderbolt. Number 11. Basilisk The basilisk was a tiny serpent that could destroy everything living in a single look or breath. It was often depicted as a monster having the body and wings of a dragon and the head of a snake. In ancient stories, weasels, roosters, were said to be the basilisk's foes. It was thought that if a basilisk heard a rooster crowing, it would die. Number 10. Radatosker Radatosker is a squirrel who transports messages along Yggdrasil, the Norse tree of life. 
the wise eagle that perches above Yggdrasil, and the voracious dragon Nidhogger, who lays coil amidst the tree's roots, are the most frequent users of his communication service. Reddit Oscar likes the opportunity to carry an insult between the two strong monsters, and by doing so, he perpetually fuels their hostility. Number 9. Kelpie A Kelpie is a hazardous shape-shifting sea monster that may appear on land as a horse in Scottish legend. It disguises itself as a gray or white horse, entices its human victims to ride on their back, and then drags them down to a watery death. However, if captured with a magical bridle, the Kelpie's great strength may be used to transport persons or large objects securely. Some folklore claims that the Kelpie may shapeshift into a person, generally a man, with seaweed in his hair or hooves instead of hands. Number 8. Tanuki Japan's Tanuki has the capacity to shapeshift into almost anything. The Tanuki signify the haunting of humans in classic Japanese legends and was frequently connected to bad omens. It gradually became associated with a malicious purpose in exploiting supernatural abilities since, in many accounts, the animal would transform to startle and practically toy with unwary hunters, travelers, and monks. This change in mood towards the tanuki probably comes from its actual habitat being deep in the woods, and thus unsuspecting travelers' stories of mysterious sounds and experiences came to be blamed on the trickster tanuki. Number 7. Machi Kapu Machikampu was known as the Fart God by the Innu, and this spirit of the anus conversed with the Innu with great frequency, particularly during hunting, trapping, fishing, and gathering. Machi's Kapu was a humorous deity, and his popping up was a source of laughter for the Innu during the life-threatening hunt. But he was also regarded as one of the most powerful spirits capable of controlling both the caribou master and humans. Number 6. Maha Maha is the undead remains of people who failed to do their tasks in the freezing lands, causing others to die. Their torch spreads laughter while draining life power, and the victims of a Maha are discovered in a permanent smile carved on their face. A Mahaha will constantly try to separate groups of travelers using traps and spell-like skills in order to drain life with their tickling touch. Number 5. Yaramayahu the Yaramayahu was an aboriginal folklore vampiric creature, similar to a vampire and a goblin. It was feared due to its unique and gruesome form of attack, and the aboriginals went into great detail about the creature's appearance, behavior, and hunting pattern. It would swallow its prey, vomit them out, and swallow them again until it sucks out all their lifeblood. Number 4. Knuckle of E the Knuckle of E is an Orcadian mythological horse-like monster that blends equine and human features. With a head ten times the size of a man, venomous breath, and a skinless body pumped full of black blood, the Knuckle of E is possibly the most terrifying beast in Scottish folklore. Despite being primarily a sea creature, the Knuckle of E's breath was considered to wilt crops and sicken cattle, and the creature was blamed for droughts and epidemics on land. Number 3. Erkatu the story of the Ercatu derives from the western Italian island of Sardinia. The tormented monster is a man who committed a serious wrong or sin, and, as a punishment, undergoes a terrible change into a massive white bull with big horns and full moon nights. Number 2. Mavka This is a tall, round-faced, long-haired, and occasionally nude but a legendary female figure. The nymphs, known by this term, represented the souls of girls who had died unnatural deaths. They were said to reside in groups in woodlands, mountain caves, or sheds that were covered with carpets. They manufactured thread from stolen flax and fashioned thin translucent fabric for themselves. They adored flowers and wore them in their hair. But then, in the spring, they planted flowers in the mountains, to which they enticed young men, whom they then tickled to brutal deaths. Number 1. Centaurs Centaurs are human-like from the waist up but had the body and legs of a horse. They endured an untamed and violent existence in Greece's forests and mountains, but they fought many renowned Greek heroes. They were said to be the offspring of Ixion, King of Lapiths, and Nephili, a cloud fashioned after Hera. According to another legend, they were all conceived from the marriage of a single Centaurus and the Magnesian mares. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on our future uploads. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay mythical.